team really found the offense 99 points that you put on the board. Seven players with eight points or more. Wow, I didn't see that. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I thought we really shared the ball. We moved the ball well. Um, we just put in a new set where it's just a five out. And I tell them, I don't know who's going to score. Just be aggressive and attack. And uh, I guess that's what we did tonight. 52% from the floor. I mean, that, that, that's pretty impressive. And I don't want to keep harping on the offense, but when we get to the defense, it, it was tough to stop them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, like I said, I thought offensively, I thought we moved the ball really well. Um, we got uh, little dump-ins and duck-ins to Caitlin Lee in, and I know I know early on in the uh, first half she was shooting the ball pretty well and finishing well. I don't know how she finished late. I haven't checked out those stats yet. Um, and, again, just unselfish play, and I think that's how you get wide-open shots, and that's what we talk about. We want wide-open threes or wide-open layups, and those are both high-percentage shots, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that tonight. Also helped pulling down 15 offensive boards. Oh, wow. Our goal was 16 tonight, but I'll take 15. That's, that's far above our average so that was one of our keys coming in because uh, they're a pretty good defensive rebounding team but we just really wanted to attack the glass as much as possible so we had an athletic advantage to do that so I'm proud of my kids for getting 15 of those you know it's interesting as I look at the team and I know you don't have all your parts due to injury mm -hmm. but you still look like you've got a fairly deep bench to cycle players in and out where you don't have that lull you know a lot of teams don't have mm -hmm. that luxury yeah. you go to the bench and all of a sudden the offense is stagnant or the defense is asleep that's not necessarily the case. Yeah, you know, we've got uh, Rebecca Harvey coming off the bench. She's had two ridiculous games right in a row where she's just aggressive, scoring the ball. She can shoot the three. Um, as you can see, she can back people down, and she finishes pretty well, both with her right and left hand. And then we have Aaliyah Moon, who's a freshman, who can shoot the ball. But, man, attacking, she can get to the rim. Um, and I thought she finished pretty well tonight. You know, that, that becomes the danger because teams, I think, are familiar. You're going to have Lee Hand down on the blocks. Mm -hmm. so they're going to have to deal with that. Uh, Rebecca Harvey, who can obviously – more of a post move type when mm -hmm. she drives to the bucket but then when you've got players like Madison Baum and as you mentioned Aaliyah Moon who with the dribble drive penetration can cause you problems you give them that step and they're at the rack. No, no doubt and that's what we talk about and that's what we worked on all week is attacking and being really aggressive to get your shot. I thought they did a, a good job of that especially as freshmen coming in. They're not timid by any means. You know they get the ball and they go so very proud of that. You know when you scouted this game and I mean you talked about one of your goals was uh, you know the offensive boards was 16. I mean you know what were you looking at heading into this Ball game. You know, they're a great transition offensive team. So we talked about really getting back and matching up. Um, and then they just got a couple kids that can score the ball. Obviously, Katie Pop, I don't know how many she finished with today. So we didn't do a great job on her. How many did she finish 22. with? 22. 22. So, I mean, she had 17 at the break. Yeah. And right. then you held her to five in the second half. Yeah, we said, we're not helping off this kid. This kid doesn't get a shot off. And I thought we did a much better job in the second half. Then, of course, the, the, the problem with that is it's pick your poison mm -hmm. because then Emily Perzik mm -hmm. starts running to the rack. And, you know, it's a situation where you guard her too close. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't look like it, but that first step, yeah. and you're trailing, you're pulling, you're fouling, she's finishing, and you're sitting there thinking, what do we have to do? Yeah, and thank God, down the stretch, we got a couple stops on that kid. But, man, Emily, she finishes so well with her right and so well with her left. And like you said, she can shoot the three. She's just a flat-out scorer. And at times, she was just a senior making senior plays, I thought. But down the stretch, I think we got two stops late on her, and I was really proud in Sydney Carey for doing that. You know, free throws down the stretch. Mm -hmm. And the game, you know, you look at the score and people say, well, they won by seven. It was hairy, though, mm -hmm. at no the end. And I thought there were a couple of huge moments late with free throws. Uh, Sid Carey made a couple of big free throws. I thought a little bit before that, your freshman, Maddie Baum, mm -hmm. hit some free throws. Yeah. And then, of course, I know you expect – uh, Rebecca Harvey to hit hers and she did mm -hmm. yeah we're blessed we're a really good free throw shooting team and that, that's just something I'm blessed to have this year we do a lot of pressure free throws and stuff like that in practice but they just have ice in their veins and sometimes I think that's something you can work on but it just comes natural and I think a lot of these kids have played in some big games and they've played with some big schools and stuff like that and a kid like Maddie Baum nothing really phases her so those free throws aren't going to phase her either talk you know as I looked at your schedule and how the season is gone I thought tonight was fairly important mm -hmm. just because the season started off a little rough. Then you really found yourself, mm -hmm. and I thought, you know, the, the trip to Florida, you guys look pretty good. Yeah. You come back, and then you head into the conference schedule a little bit more, which mm -hmm. isn't going to be easy. Not at all. And, and I think that might speak a little bit to what the conference is like this year. And I, I think you want to not have any kind of streak where, where the team starts to feel down, especially now that you're into the heart of the 
of the conference. No, I agree, and that's what we said. Now that we're playing all ODAC games, you got to come to play or you're not going to win. It doesn't matter if you're playing the top team or the bottom team. And so I think they're kind of starting to realize that. You know, we lost our first one to Roanoke early on. We just didn't come to play, and I think it started to click a little bit with them. you got to come every night. Um, but, but I agree. I think this was a huge game. And one thing we talked about prior, and I don't know if you know this, Washington and Lee, I think last five games have beat Bridgewater. So I just put a big five right on our board, our, our board um, whiteboard downstairs. And and I said, let's not make it six. Let's go out and let's make a statement tonight. And I was just really proud of our kids to go ahead and do that. And I think that was a good motivator early on. You know, this was not a game anybody expected us to win. They're a really talented team. They just beat EMU, who's really good. They beat Guilford College. So just a, a very, very proud coach of this win.